As I've stated, the court will stand by the Criminal Procedure Act and Section 60 that regulates how and what the court must decide when bail is considered. I am not going to repeat the affidavit and all the addresses that was made to the court. It is before the court on record in writing and verbally. I am satisfied that we are dealing with a Schedule 5 matter before court. Looking at the schedules as set out in the Bail Act and the charge sheet and the amount alleged by the state involved in this matter. When one considers then a Schedule 5 bail application, one must look at whether the applicant has acquitted herself of the onus that it is in the interest of justice that bail be granted in this matter. In order to do so, the court then has to look at the sections of the Bail Act as mentioned by the Advocate and State, uh, Section 60, Sub 4A to E, and uh, the points raised under those sections, which I'm also not going to read out at infinitum. It boils down to, and each section starts with the likelihood of whether if bail is granted there will be any endangering of the safety of the public and any person, the likelihood if uh, bail will be evaded or trial will be evaded, the likelihood if there will be any influence or attempt to influence any state witnesses or conceal any evidence, the likelihood if released on bail whether it will undermine or jeopardize the um, objectives of and proper functioning of the criminal justice system. The likelihood whether the release on bail will disturb public order or undermine peace and security. Now, looking at all these factors, the Act is very clear, and Section 8, Capital A of the Act has indicated that the court must consider these factors and weigh it up with the evidence presented to the court. The Section 9 of the Criminal Procedure Act regulating is very really clear and indicate to the court that the court must weigh up the interest of justice against the right of the applicant in this matter and her personal right to freedom and any prejudice she might suffer if bail is not granted and she is detained. Considering all these factors, has been prescribed by the Act, case law that was provided to the court. What is important for the court to consider is also the address of the state in this matter, that the applicant handed herself over to the police, that she is willing, and this is an address from Advocate Kerr Phillips, willing to hand in her passport, the state has addressed the court that she is, they are not opposing her release on bail because she's not considered a flight risk. And the state has considered her health as one of the conditions uh, not opposing bail in this matter. Looking at all these factors and weighing all these factors, the court is then satisfied that the applicant did acquit herself of the owners that it is in the interest of justice that she be released on bail. Can I hear from the state and the defense shortly with regards to the quantum? Let me give the state an opportunity, Mr. Kerr Lewis, you've already addressed me to some extent in that regard. Okay. The instructing attorney called me yesterday and he asked how much bail are we looking at? He proposed 50,000 rand. I said, I will ask for 100,000 rand. Obviously, this court is not bound by either amount. So, the reason I ask for 100,000 rand is informed. If, if one looks at the amount of the schedule, it's 4,550,000 rand. However, 
that amount relates to the gratifications that were allegedly asked for by the applicant in terms of our law that is sufficient even if you do not give the gratifications if you ask for it that, that's that's criminal however out of the four million five hundred and fifty thousand rent a total of two million one hundred and fifty thousand rent was actually given to the applicant by the witness based on that amount two million one hundred and fifty thousand rent I submit that hundred thousand rent would not be unreasonable and disproportionate to the magnitude of the offense. I, I add, Your Worship, that count 13 is clear. We are, we are charging the applicant with laundering of that money that was received. We know what that money was used for, hence the money laundering charge. I submit that 100,000 rand is reasonable. Thank you. Thank you. Advocate? Worship, um, I'm timid to um, indicate this, but I've just taken an instruction from my attorney. That is, n that is not how he remembers the telephone call went relating to the 100,000 rand. Now, I'm not going to be long, Your Worship. The, the, the principle about bail is...